there's an exciting new uh, drawing and painting app that just came out that I want to take a look at. It's by a company called 53 Inc. and it's called Paper by 53 Inc. and it's free. And um, well, part of it's free. It's free to download and to use. And basically, it gives you one pen and an eraser and some colors for free. And if you want to buy um, the four other um, ways to, you know, draw or paint, including a paintbrush, including a pencil-like tool or a magic marker-like tool uh, or a better writing tool, each of those is a dollar ninety-nine or two dollars. So you can get the all four additional um, pens or painting brushes for another eight dollars or two dollars each and the people who made this uh, were behind the courier the experimental I guess multi um, multi window tablet that Microsoft was working on and then decided not to do and um, the the drawing here is actually kinda nicer than some of the other things that I've seen and also the user interface is, is very nice um, so if you wanna and you can share your your work with um, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook or email um, so it's got a what they claim to have something called Expressive Ink Engine which they claim to be a custom ink engine which recreates your movements to optimize each tool for the process of creation. This is what it says here. Um, in addition, it says you can get a range of expressions from a single tool without fussing with settings for great handwriting. So let's take a look at it more closely. So the icon for paper, it's just called paper when you see it on your desktop, is really pretty. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a number 53 in the middle. And the um, the the um, the app is really elegant. Let's see if I can show you how to use it. Now, basically, at first, I didn't read the instructions, so it was kind of hard to get around. But basically, when you first get into it, you'll see this. You'll see these three notebooks, and you can swipe left to right to um, go through them. And you can create a new notebook by just pressing the plus sign. If I press the plus sign, boom, I get a new notebook. And I guess if you press the in the um, information thing you can name the notebook you can also adjust the cover you've got killer robot you've got paint splatter moonbeam so you've got like different settings there um, or choose your own photo for the cover of the of the journal and each journal is like a little notebook which is kinda nice so so let's um Let's open up a journal. Now, if you can see here, you've got the pages, and you can quickly flip through them, and that's very elegant design. And if you want to close the notebook, you just use your two fingers to pinch it closed, and it closes. So at first, I didn't know how to get around, but this is a really cool way to get around. So the app, in some ways, is very simple, and I think that's the strength, because we've seen all these painting tools that are kind of complex, and this is very elegant. So let's say you open up a page in your book. If you use your finger to swipe up from the bottom, you get this little toolkit. And basically, you start off and you get this eraser and this ink pen. And you've got nine different colors, black, gray, white, brown. So this is what you get for free at the beginning. And um, you can close the little toolkit after you selected the pen. I'm going to click black by swiping down. And then you can use a stylus or your finger, and you get really nice results. So here, for example, I'm just going to draw a little guy like that. And see, it's very smooth. smooth. The engine is kind of cool. And uh, I've got a little guy with hand there. And you're, you know, you're kind of limited you know, to using this pen. And depending on how hard or fast you move it, you get, like, thicker... If you go really fast, you get sort of like a pen-like, uh, a pen-like feel, and you can change the color. And let's say with this one pen, color in. Now, I am um, going to color in his pants a little bit green, yellow. There we go. 
Now I went and uh, I actually purchased for two dollars each um, these other these other uh, these other tools. And here's a sketch tool. It's a dollar ninety nine. Here is the outline tool, which is like a magic marker. And if you want to buy all of them, you can. Um, you can if you haven't bought any of them, you can buy all of them for eight dollars. So let's just take a look at um, these other tools that come with it. Different tools. So here uh, on the far end is the paintbrush tool, uh, watercolor, and it's really nice. Let's close it so you can sort of dab there and get a really nice effect and um, creating like sort of a, a nice padding around. And um, change colors and they sort of mix a little bit so I'm mi mixing yellow into there looks kinda nice put some more yellow over there and all you do is you flick up and you get the color palette and you, you don't get a lot of colors but they seem to be sort of element basic colors um, let's check the little writing tool basically it's just like a thinner line so you can do like little squigglies like that. This is better for writing. I'm just doing sort of creating a little interesting color. And um, this is the magic marker. It's not that different than the uh, ink pen. Let's um, let's take a look at it. I'm just gonna. It's not really thick, but it's solid. And, um, and then you have this tool which is the pencil so you can have colored pencils I'm going to use yellow there and then I'm going to just use the pencil to draw in and you get sort of a, a pencil-y feel there now I mean one thing you notice you can't really adjust in a lot of these more other, to uh, other painting and drawing uh, apps you can adjust like the thickness of the paintbrush or the pencil or the magic marker so you don't really have that choice nor do you have a choice of a lot of different colors and you've got a, a basic um, eraser and if you use the eraser really it just wipes everything that you see there um, now one interesting thing is if you use two fingers and you rotate counterclockwise you get this little rewind wheel and see it rewinds what you've done all the way back but you can rewind forward and so what I erased isn't there there we go and this is pretty cool tool for undoing and it works very well so uh, if I want to get out of this I use two fingers and I can flip through my journal I want to close this journal I can go back to the um, this is the instruction book which is you got to be careful not to erase some of the instructions because it's like a, it's a, um, it's like a, um, it's like a, um, you know, a drawing itself. And let's see, I did one painting that looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can find it. Um, huh? I'm not sure where I put it. Oh, here it is. So this is something I've been working on. Uh, let me and do that. Um, let's see if I've got another. So you've got like these notebooks. They're kind of cool. Here's another notebook. Nothing there. Is there nothing here? Oh wait. Here are some examples that they give you of what you can do with it and um, here's another painting um, so if you want to share it I, the weird thing is you can it seems like you can share a, 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 I don't know if you could share the whole book but you can share it to Tumblr Facebook Twitter and you can send by email now one thing that's lacking though is the ability to save a picture to your photos but that's kinda easy because all you do 
is just do a screenshot. So, and um, I'm going to do one here, home button and the sleep button. And you have it in your photos. So, um, overall, I mean, I think it's a very elegant drawing and writing app, and you seem to get a lot of control over your painting and drawing. I wonder if they're going to add features as this app becomes popular, such as the ability to, you know, make the thickness of paintbrushes and pens um, change or give you more colors. That would be nice. But overall, I think um, it, you know, it's a really, really nice app, and um, I, I suggest it. I suggest suggest it. It's called Paper by 53. So check it out.